105.5 FM, 25 minutes past six. And, of course, that was the beautiful Celine McAllister there with Guilt Free. Have you got any guilt, Big D? No, I don't. Last Mm. year's uh, Mate Intelligence Search winner up at the Gimpy Festival, which is just around the corner again, the Gimpy Music Muster. And uh, Celine took that out last year. So, outstanding effort. Now, you have introduced us to a lot of new new bands a lot of new acts over the last 12 or 18 months in these last four years since we've been in this program and you love because you're just spoiled we're just the lucky people and you've and you've got another one for us too and so we thought we'd find out a little bit more about it i know the people on the uh central coast to the northern rivers of new south wales know these guys pretty well it's vanessa lee and road train and vanessa joins us now hey vanessa how are you Hey, Tracy and the Big D. Nice to, to be on the show. Thanks for having me. Oh, look, it's an absolute pleasure. Now, um, most people around the Northern Rivers area uh, would, would be pretty well familiar with um, with Vanessa Lee and Road Train. Yeah, we get around a bit around this area. We um, do a fair bit of, of Coffs Harbour gigs, like the Hoey Moey. We're there a fair bit. In fact, we're there again this weekend, and we did Lismore last weekend. And, yeah, we like to sort of travel around a bit. And um, a, a an EP out that's doing some great stuff for you. Yeah, yeah, the city's doing well. It's um, Red Stiletto is, is the title track that's out at the moment. But, um, yeah, quite a few of the tracks are doing pretty well. They, you know, were up for a couple of awards in the Songwriting Awards last year. So that was, that was really good. I have to tell you, Vanessa, when I heard the first time I heard Red Stiletto, I listened to the beginning, I've gone... Where is this going? Seriously, what <laughs> has this woman thought of? And then, I, honestly, it was probably maybe about four bars into it, and I've gone, oh, that's good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't take yourself too seriously, can you? Oh, I thought, oh, I couldn't you just play just those first four lines. You could play that to any man that's ever been in trouble, can't you? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And it's a red crazy. always gets their attention, doesn't it? Well, I can tell you what, they get your attention because I've gone, what is that? Oh, oh. Oh, right, with you now. <laughs> uh, I thought it was uh, a little bit of irony that you were nominated uh, finalist for Channel C's Blue Shoe, Shoe Awards with an <laughs> album called uh, Red Stiletto. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's a yeah, shoe-in, well, isn't it? Yeah, oh. well, I don't know where the, the name came from, the Blue Shoe Awards. I'd like to know more about that because it really should be the... I thought it should be the Blue Cowboy Boot Award, really. Mm. Oh. We'll, we'll have to get Darren or Dane on and find out... Yeah. Uh, and find out why. Yes, yeah, right. Sure. We want to know why. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we, we will have an answer. You'll have to be streaming live tonight, and we will have an answer before 8 o'clock tonight. We'll get on to Duncan Wood or someone like that yep. and find out why he's probably tuned in now. So we'll want to know why it's called the Blue Shoe Award. There you oh. go. Wow, we'll have an answer by 8 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, wow, that's really quick. <laughs> there it is. Um, now, this um, I, I also was reading that uh, that you guys were in uh, Triple J's Unearthed. Oh, um, yeah. Oh, that was that was a long mm. time ago. <laughs> but it's a, it's a great concept, isn't it? The Unearthed for, and it doesn't matter what genre you're in. Um, mm. It's it really is a, a great concept for people to to get seen, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. There's so many good competitions around these days. There's, you know, just to help. Yeah, as you said, get exposure and get the word out there, and you know, get your name out there. It's really good. Now, um, this this was your first album, wasn't it? Um, we do have another one, but we okay. really sort of pushed this one a bit more. Okay, you see, obviously, uh, some big, big changes and and some learnings from going from the first one to the second one. Oh, definitely, and um, yeah, I mean, we've got a studio here at home, but with the latest album with Red Stiletto, we decided we'd actually involve um, Garth Porter as well, and obviously, it's made a huge difference to our sound, and um, you know, getting Ted into engineer as well. It was just brilliant. So I think I think if we brought out another album, we'd definitely go that way again. Just imagine how good Garth Porter's going to do with a couple more albums under his belt, hey? <laughs> <laughs> a little bit he more practice, enough, has he? No. no, we need a few more. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more practice. It's funny though when we you think about those uh, those rock stars of the uh, uh, of the seventies and eighties, um, Garth Porter doing some great stuff for country music, and of course uh, Don Walker mm. uh, from Cold Chisels done the same thing, and also uh, Ross Wilson. So really crossing over country. Country really is the place where it is at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. And um, yeah, there's there's a lot of um, a lot of different mixtures getting out there with country these days too, isn't there? It's not the, not the old traditional thing that the whole time. It does get a little bit sad sometimes. Not that we don't like um, at the age that we're at. We like we like the modern country. We like a little bit of the old traditional country, but not you know. And it's, sometimes it gets a little bit too poppy sometimes for us. But everyone's different. 
Oh, it's good to have the variety and then people can pick and choose, can't they? Well, that's right. So if we go to a Vanessa Lee concert, what sort of music are we hearing? Um, a few covers thrown in there as well or are we doing more covers and then we're throwing in the Vanessa Lee and Road Train? What are we hearing? You mean in a live show? At a live show, yes. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, and it depends on where we're playing to. Like we, we just did this um, fantastic tour. It was really you know, so much fun. Um, and we went, you know, down, we went out to the western New South Wales and down to South Australia in the Great Ocean Road. And we did a couple of our own shows. So with that, we, we mixed up a, a couple of covers and a few older things because a few of the crowds were, you know, older. So we brought in the Patsy Clines and things like that. But, um, yeah, we always do um, probably about a third of the show would be originals. Isn't oh, it great? Brilliant. Isn't it great that you can get that many out there and that the crowd still appreciate them? Yeah, it's really great. It's really nice too to the people that are familiar with us and that have bought our CDs or heard us on the radio. And you go and do a show and see people singing along. Singing along, it's a How big good's buzz. That? Oh, it's so flattering. It's just lovely. Mm. Uh, do you have a? Uh, we we know you're covering uh, pretty well that Northern Rivers area. Do you have a? Um, the, a place where you you think it's more popular for you, like Coffs Harbour or Lisbon or something like that. Yeah, well, we're we're based in Coffs Harbour area, so we we tend to do a lot of gigs around here, like the closest as possible. But you know, we do travel as well. But um, we we do quite a few gigs at the Hoi Moi in Coffs Harbour, and that's a bit of an institution. <laughs> it always surprises me, no matter how far you travel out west. If you say you're from Coffs Harbour, the first thing people say is. Oh, the Howie Moe. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, a lot around here. And, um, yeah, not so many in Lismore. It's more around this area. But, yeah, we do travel. So what has the next 12 months got in store for Vanessa and the road train? Mm, well, we're writing again. And we've got uh, about three or four songs in the pipeline. And we've done a couple of demos on them. Um, we have another song we're going to release off the album called Awkward. Mm-hmm. And uh, we've got a film clip that we've sort of just sent in to, to telly, so we're just waiting for that one to, to get all sorted. But, yeah, m- maybe another album finished by the end of this year, perhaps. So you've already sent the uh, the CD, uh, the, the video in, so people can now actually go on to CMC and request it already or not? Oh, no, it takes a while to get through the, um, <sighs> to the wheels. That's so. suck, isn't it? Here it is, play it. Sorry? <laughs> Here it is. Just play it. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> if it was that easy, hey? Yeah. Yeah, right. yeah, there's a bit of a waiting line and it's got to go through a whole kind of panel to review it and if they like it, they play it. How could they not like it? Seriously? Well, well exactly. It, it'll make you laugh, I can guarantee. <laughs> well, look, I, I think that's the key to a good uh, a good clip. It's either got to be a tearjerker or make you laugh. You can't mm. have anything in between. Yeah, absolutely. I totally agree with you there. Tearjerkers on uh, on the album. Have we got a tearjerker on the album? Mm, I don't know about this album. Whether there's a tearjerker. Well, you better write one for the next one. Then you got to step up and write <laughs> yeah. a really, step up. <laughs> really. I, I didn't mean it like that, but really a tearjerker. So you have the fun one, and then you follow it up with the tearjerker, and wow. You, you okay. just got it made. <laughs> well, I better start being sad then. <laughs> no, we'll be happy. Listen, Vanessa, it's been terrific to catch up with you. Um, the, better give the website a bit of a plug so people can find out about a little bit more about you. For sure, yeah. com. There it is. Fantastic. Yeah. If you want to know more about them, and if you're heading down uh, down into northern New South Wales or the Central Coast area, uh, somewhere around there, the Hoey Moey at Coffs Harbour, you'll be able to uh, catch up with uh, with Vanessa Lee and the road train. So it sounds like it's going to be a load of fun. Um, we're going to go out now with Red Stiletto. Uh, listen to the lyric of this song, folk. It is fantastic. It is, particularly the first four bars. Just get yourself into it. <laughs> Vanessa, thank you so much. And why don't you introduce this song for us? Good on you guys. Thanks so much. This is Vanessa Lee with uh, Red Stiletto.